Hello and welcome to this fourth video um, dedicated to astrology. So after having seen some of the basic aspects of the Amalui sphere, after having looked at a few historical landmarks in order to better understand this object, we're going to go into more depth and try and understand what these armillary sphere rings are all about. If you recall, armillary comes from the Latin armilla, that means rings. And that is the whole point of these objects, that is made of rings. So we're going to start by exploring the armillary sphere. So as you can observe, I have a new guest here today with me. You will have recognized it, of course. It's the Earth globe. And it will help us understand some of the rings of the armillary sphere. I'll put it to one side for now, and I'll get back to it later. So, the armillary sphere. I'm going to try and give a definition um, First of all, as you can see, there is the Earth at the center, so the armillary sphere is based on a geocentric vision of the universe. In fact, astrology is also it's based on a geocentric vision of the universe. And not only is the Earth at the center of the universe, but it's also immobile. It is fixed with the, the whole of the universe revolving around the Earth globe. So I would say that's the first definition of the armillary sphere, geocentrism and fixity and the universe revolving around the Earth globe. So imagine um, the, the celestial globe is covered in stars. You have to imagine it covered in stars. Obviously here you can't see the stars because what we want is to be able to observe other phenomena in particular see the Earth, we want to see other things, and so we haven't represented the stars on the armillary sphere. But you are all familiar with um, celestial globes, I suspect, which are representations, there's a picture here, they are representations of the stars and constellations on a globe. It's an object that's complementary, the armillary sphere. So just uh, remember, um, armillary sphere, no stars. You might ask though, but you say no stars on the armillary sphere, but there are constellations here. You've got Leo, Virgo, Cancer here, Gemini, Taurus, Aries. Aren't these um, constellations? You know, so there are constellations on the armillary sphere. Well, the answer is no, these are not uh, constellations. Yes, it is the zodiac here and what in one of the rings of the armillary sphere that we'll look at in little more detail in another video but these are not constellations so it's a mystery it's one of the important mysteries of tropical astrology that we will resolve in another video a little later on so what are these um, um, famous things. Let's try and look at them to understand them. So everybody knows on the uh, Earth globe the equator and um, that surrounds the globe. And then the parallels, the parallels to the equator, the best known one in the northern hemisphere is the Tropic of Cancer. And in the southern hemisphere, at 23 degrees 26 uh, latitude south, it's very precise, you have the Tropic of Capricorn. Um, so that's, you know, compelling. Why on the Earth globe do we have names of constellations, or at least areas of the sky, you know, Tropic of Capricorn, Tropic of Cancer? That is rather surprising. On the Earth globe, you also have two parallels that aren't quite as well known, but they define very precise areas of the globe, and that's the... Um, Arctic globe in the northern hemisphere and Antarctic in the southern hemisphere that define areas where you can experience the famous um, polar days or polar nights. So imagine that you've got our Earth here that is going to expand, expand, expand until um, it forms a celestial globe, celestial sphere. So why am I saying this? Because if we look at our armillary sphere, we are going to see exactly the same landmarks on our sphere than we see on the Earth globe. We're going to see the equator, the celestial equator this time. We're going to see 
the celestial tropic of Cancer and the celestial tropic of Capricorn. Both tropics, just like the terrestrial tropics, are at 23 degrees 26 latitude north or south. There are also two small circles here known as circumpolar circles. We'll talk about those in a moment. So you can see here, on the celestial globe, you have exactly the same landmarks as you have on the Earth globe. So for educational purposes, I have deliberately um, started by the Earth globe and then transposed things onto the celestial globe. But what you need to know um, is that it actually worked the other way around. What I mean is that historically, human beings um, knew about celestial landmarks um, and then afterwards only transposed these landmarks to the Earth globe, which explains why you have celestial names on the Earth globe, the tropics of Capricorn and the Tropic of uh, Cancer. So which is why these celestial names appear on the Earth globe. I insist on the fact that you need to uh, remember these tropics, Capricorn um, and Cancer, because they form the basis of the astrology that is most practiced worldwide, known as tropical astrology. And, um, you know, we'll look at that more closely in the fifth video. But remember these two um, tropics, they're absolutely essential. So on the celestial globe, you also have two small circles, um, circles known as circumpolar circles. They define areas within which, you know, these areas here, within which stars never set. So for our observer here, um, who's in the northern hemisphere, these areas, you know, they never set, or these stars never set. You know, you have to be uh, above the topic of cancer, but that is very important. And it's very interesting, because there are myths that are based on this starry area. And uh, I will dedicate a little video to stars and mythology. Uh, and I'll explain more about uh, circumpolar circles in that video. So as you can see here, on this um, Earth, this Earth is fixed by an axis, an axis that crosses the poles, the poles of the um, Earth, north and south, and also goes through the celestial globe. So I'd like to specify where the North Pole is. The North Pole is here. And why is it here, the North Pole? There's a little arrow here. It's because the North is on the side of the Tropic of Cancer. And you can see the sign of Cancer here, to the North. And so our arrow here is just... Um, I'd like to bring your attention to the fact that it's in the North Pole you know, the area that is totally immobile. As you can see, the whole sphere revolves around our pole star that remains immobile. So we call it Tropic of Cancer, um, sign of Cancer, Tropic of Cancer beside it, of course, and North Pole on the side of the Tropic of Cancer. And of course, on the other side, it's the opposite. Here you have um, the sign of Capricorn, and so you have the Tropic of Capricorn. Uh, in the southern hemisphere and towards the uh, south pole. So this sphere revolves uh, from east to west, the opposite of the movement of the Earth, and of course it revolves um, on itself in a 24-hour period. So it's an amazing movement that you can see. It's a real dance. Um, a zodiac dance, so a very complex movement that we'll look at in a little more detail. So I um, suggest we meet in video number five. Video number five is very complementary to this video because here we looked at the parallels and in the next video we'll look at the two circles here that are absolutely essential in tropical astrology, which are the celestial meridians. So see you in video number five and thank you for being here and see you soon.